Okay, so um, in the last video, we looked at how to find the area of a sector of a circle. So in this video, we are going to look at how to find the central angle of a sector. Okay, so here is the question. The area of a sector is 25 and 2 thirds square centimeters. Pi is equal to 22 over 7. And then calculate angle A O B. So angle A O B. So this is the central angle that they want you to calculate theta. Okay. So for us to calculate uh, the central angle theta here, which is angle A O B, we are going to use the formula for finding the area of a sector. And from the previous video, uh, the area of a sector is given by this formula. So we are going to say area is equal to, area of a sector is equal to theta. This theta is actually the, the central angle here. So theta divided by 360 degrees times the area of the full circle. So times the area of a full circle. Remember, the sector, a sector is just part of the full circle. So that's the reason why we're multiplying by that. So we look at what we've been given. We have been given area, which is 25 uh, and 2 thirds square centimeters. So where there's area here, we're going to write, we're going to put uh, this 25 and two thirds square centimeters. So here we're going to write 25 and two over three is equal to, so here where there's area, we've covered it with that, is equal to uh, theta. We don't know this angle is the one that we are being asked to find. So we have 360 over 360 degrees times uh, pi, Pi, the value for pi, we were told that pi uh, is 22 over 7. So we're going to put 22 over 7 here times the radius squared. So the, ra the radius is 7 and then squared. Everything squared. Everything squared like that. Okay, so we can now uh, write the area as an improper fraction okay so 3 times 25 is 75 times uh, plus 2 is actually 77 over 3 is equal to theta over 360 degrees remember the theta is the one that we are looking for uh, times 22 over 7 and then 7 squared is same as 7 times 7, like that. So now, this makes our work easy, easier. We can simplify this part. You can see that one of the 7 will cancel with the, the other 7. So on top here, you remain with 7. Then we can also see that uh, 2 can go into uh, 22, 11 times. And 2 can also go in, in 360, 180 times. So we have just simplified that. So meaning in the next test, we are going to have 77 over 3 is equal to theta over 180 times 11 times 7. 11 times 7 like that okay next you are going to have 77 over 3 is equal to uh, 11 times 7 is 77 times theta you are going to have uh, 77 theta 77 theta over 180 
here degrees remember those are degrees so now when you reach at this stage you are going to cross multiply like that you are going to cross multiply um, meaning you are going to have 3 times 77 theta so you have you are going to have 3 times 77 uh, theta I'm just multiplying this is equal to 77 times 77 times 180 like that like this guys it's very easy so now because you want to remain with theta alone this side which is the central angle that we are looking for so we are going to divide both sides by 3 times 77 even this side 3 times 77 okay like this so so which means these guys are going to cancel and then what will remain this side is theta is equal to theta is equal to uh, here again you, you, you can see that the 77 here will cancel with the other 77 on top there so you are going to have theta is equal to here you have a 1 1 times 180 is 180 so you have 180 over 3 and 180 divided by 3 180 divided by 3 is actually 60 so meaning uh, theta the central angle angle so we are going to conclude and say therefore angle a or b is equal to 60 degrees so that's how you find uh, the angle the central angle of a of a sector so meaning this angle here here theta is a 60 degrees so if you found this video useful uh, i encourage you to watch the next one where we are going to 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 look at how to find the radius how to find how to calculate the radius remember yesterday the other the other day we looked at it, how to calculate the area of a sector and today we have looked at how to find the central angle so for if, if you want to watch or if you want to learn how to find the radius then i encourage you to subscribe to this channel uh, so that you also learn how to find the, the radius okay bye See you in the next video.